Hi everyone, it's Coffee Cup Talk with Kim. And today, we're gonna do um, the Disney's Animal Kingdom Cup. And that's what you're gonna learn about today. Today, um, I'm gonna tell you about a few facts and some of my favorite parts of Animal Kingdom. Um, the uh, tree is the icon of it. Hi, Sabrina. Anyway, um, we, the Animal Kingdom Park opened in April of 1989. And if you've ever been there, hi April, uh, around there they have on the streets and they have uh, highway signs, hi Peggy. They have street signs around there that has 489, Highway 89, 489. That is all for the opening day. That's a tribute to that. The tree, I don't know if anybody knows this, was made out of an upside down oil rig. Animals in there carved all throughout on the branches. The longer you look at it, the more animals you see. And then you can go down inside and see even more. It took um, 10 full-time uh, artists and three Imagineers, 18 months working full-time to finish the tree. It uh, had the, each animal they had six to ten hours to do before the plaster would harden. So that was they had to work fast and they had to get everything done just right. And recently in 2016, they have a light show that at night and the tree comes alive. It's really cool. Um, just one of my favorite things. I can sit and look at it forever. Um, they also had um, put under 103,000 leaves that are made in transparent of five different colors of green and they actually blow in the wind. So it's much the illusion of a real tree. Just can't believe it's not real when you see it. Um, they have, um, oh, I lost my place. Uh, they have a lot of animals there, over a thousand animals. Uh, they feed them uh, two, or they have 216 different types of animals, and they've uh, reproduced. Almost all of them have. The first one that was born there was a large African antelope called the canoe. Can do. I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> and all the animals eat about 4,000 tons of food a day. So that I mean, uh, yeah, a day, and they have they have. Uh, 40,000 different types of worms, or 40,000 worms of several different varieties that they should hold you that. The whole park is, if you've lost, listened to my other coffee talk, cop talks, uh, the other parks are, you know, this as a size. This one's the largest, it's 500 acres so that they can keep all of the animals in there. Um, the parking lot, which I've told you a lot about parking lots, is uh, they'll hold 4,500 um, cars in there. And on opening day, it was full in 20 minutes. So it was a very popular opening day. <laughs> the Disney's a huge conservationist. Hi, Cindy and Miranda. Um, there's a big conservationist. Uh, so they have donated over $70 million to 600 different um, Com uh, companies that will help conservation and keeping animals from uh, extinction and being taken care of in uh, over half of the countries in the world. Um, I don't know, let's see. They also have, uh, I don't know if anybody has been there, they also had a dragon if you go in there. They were going to have a beastly world, but due to budget constraints, they um, quit it because um, they just couldn't do it. And now that's where Pandora is. But if you're by the tree of life, you will see a dragon there. And that was supposed to tie everything in. They were gonna have imaginary animals as well. And so they could tie in all the Disney uh, movies into that, but it just didn't come to uh, fruition. Um, they also have every bench in the park is made out of recycled milk jugs and some of their, their tables. So they do repurpose um, the Ivy. She's on stilts and moves very eloquently around and it looks like vines and she's on stilts and will walk and 
it's you just you have to look for her if you go. It's a very cool thing to see. Um, they also on the Kilimanjaro uh, safari, which I love because you can see all the animals. Um, they went and put rocks and uh, twigs in the roadway so it looks and acts just like as if you were driving out on the Serengeti. And the good thing about going on that ride is you're guaranteed to see all the animals. Go on a real safari, you may or may not. It's kind of like fishing. You might get a fish, you might not. <laughs> so anyway, um, they also, so that the, uh, the lions will stay where they're up on the big rocks that they have, they pump in cool air to keep them warm. I mean, cold, so in the warm uh, uh, temperatures there in Florida, uh, they can stay cool. And so then they'll be there so you can see. Um, always see them. There's alligators and it's on a, on a, hi Addy, hi Patrick. <laughs> so they um, always want to have everybody, the animals all right there for you can see. And you can't tell that they're all segregated, even though you're out in the middle of it. it looks like they could just roam all together. So it's a really cool ride. Well, that's about all I have to say <laughs> about Animal Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you like watching these and I will see you guys all next week. And thanks for listening to me. <laughs> Bye.